Hello! In this video I'm going to explain all you need to know about toothpaste tablets. So to start off with then, what are toothpaste tablets? Well essentially they're a solid form of your regular toothpaste that you usually get in a tube. They're not a liquid nor a paste, they're usually a powder that's been compressed into a small tablet shape. They're often small and circular, much like a paracetamol or aspirin that you may take for medication, except this is your alternative to regular tubes of toothpaste. They achieve the same thing as regular toothpaste. The idea is you put one of the tablets in your mouth, you bite down, you chew, it forms a pasty powder, and you brush your teeth like you usually would. The powder breaks down and reacts with the saliva in your mouth as you chew it and creates the paste that you would otherwise get in a regular tube of toothpaste. Now, I'm calling them toothpaste tablets, but there's many different names for this type of product. Just some of the names that you may hear them called or referred to are toothpaste tabs, toothpaste bits, toothy bits, toothpaste pills, zero waste toothpaste, chewable toothpaste and solid toothpaste and I'm sure there's a few more as well. So although that there may be lots of different names that you can refer to these tablets as they're essentially all the same sort of thing. They're toothpaste in a more solid form. So what do toothpaste tablets replace? Well the idea is they replace your traditional tube of toothpaste which contains a paste in it. That paste is generally made up of 50% water and to preserve that water it requires chemicals and things in it. Now with toothpaste tablets you don't actually need this and you're taking out the weight and the physical volume that comes with having so much water in a traditional paste. So in theory toothpaste tablets are a more environmentally friendly, they're a lighter and more conservative option in comparison to regular tubes of toothpaste. The other big difference with tubes of toothpaste is they traditionally come in packaging that is hard to recycle or dispose of. The vast majority has to go into landfill and the idea of toothpaste tablets, or as some people refer to them as zero waste toothpaste, is that they can come in more sustainable packaging such as glass jars or recyclable plastic containers because they don't need the same type of packaging that toothpaste requires. Therefore, they're more environmentally friendly. Now, I can't get into all the mechanics of it because it's quite complicated, but one of the other benefits of the tablets in terms of the environment is because there's less water, the overall packaging is smaller. It means when it comes to um, producing, shipping, etc. It all takes up less size, weight and in theory less fossil fuels and things are going to be used and resources in the actual production and the shipping, transportation, storage etc. of these products. So they're all designed to kind of help in the long term the environment but still give you the benefits of regular toothpaste albeit in a condensed powder form. So what are the benefits of toothpaste tablets? Well, as I've already touched on, the environmental side of things is one big thing. So there's, in theory, less packaging, less weight uh, in terms of the production, shipping, etc. There's less going to landfill because you no longer need to throw a tube away. Uh, you're just refilling a glass or plastic container with the tablets rather than a brand new tube. Um, there are some companies that are really trying to go down the complete zero waste route, they're trying to minimise the packaging in, you know, completely, um, but there are also those companies that are still trying to be environmentally friendly but maybe don't tout to being completely zero waste. One of the other benefits is the ingredients. Now there's arguments for and against this obviously, um, but they tend to have less ingredients in them. Many of them tend to be more natural, so uh, more suitable for vegans. There's less chemicals, and in theory, less chemicals is better for you and your health. Now, originally when toothpaste tablets first sort of started coming to market, many of them didn't have fluoride in, which kind of goes against some of the recommendations of dental professionals or dental bodies. But there are many options now that include fluoride, so you can get that protection included in many of the toothpaste tablets now. And many of the brands make options with and without. So you need to shop around if you particularly want one with or without. 
They're also more travel friendly. You don't need to take the whole tube with you. You can just take a few tablets if you like. Um, so they're again, less weight, less inconvenience when traveling. It gives more space in your wash bag, etc. They are TSA friendly as well. One of the other benefits is abrasivity of the toothpaste tablets it tends to be less than many toothpaste. So many of the toothpaste have more abrasive agents in it to try and keep your teeth lovely and clean and remove the external stains. Many of the toothpaste tablets are uh, more gentle on your teeth than toothpaste and therefore uh, less abrasive and potentially less damaging in the long run. So what are some of the negatives? Well, one of the biggest things is the availability, although that is increasing. You know, you can walk into uh, most pharmacies or grocery stores or supermarkets and pick up toothpaste uh, in its tubes, but toothpaste tablets are much harder to source. Generally, you have to go online or to more specialist retailers to actually find those. Although that is uh, improving as time goes on and demand and awareness of toothpaste tablets uh, improves. Because they don't have the chemicals in them, the shelf life for toothpaste tablets tends to be a little bit less. You generally get 12 plus months from them. You need to check between different brands, but toothpaste can last a good few years uh, in the right conditions. Uh, that isn't necessarily quite so true with toothpaste tablets. So um, you're gonna need to be a bit more aware of that. You can't really bulk buy in the same way as you can with uh, traditional tubes of toothpaste. As I record this, one of the other negatives tends to be price. Um, at the moment, toothpaste tablets are commanding a little bit of a premium because they're more environmentally friendly and there's less people actually selling them. As the demand for them and the number of companies offering them improves, uh, the prices will likely come down. But at the moment, a tube of toothpaste is typically cheaper than um, toothpaste tablets. That said, it does depend on what toothpaste you're buying. If you're buying higher end premium toothpaste, it's quite likely the toothpaste uh, tablets will be cheaper, but the conventional tube of toothpaste, your standard fluoride based toothpaste, tends to be a little bit cheaper. Maybe half the price of toothpaste tablets at the moment. It does depend on the number you buy, where you buy from, etc. But as a general rule, toothpaste tablets are currently more expensive, but the prices are going down. This is changing as well, but another negative is many of the toothpaste tablets are often fluoride free. Um, initially, many of the companies were looking at a very sustainable, chemical free um, kind of option that was all natural. And um, that's why many don't contain fluoride. Fluoride is a recommended ingredient by dentists to help protect your teeth and keep them healthy. So it probably is best to try and find toothpaste tablets that does have fluoride included in them. The number of tablets with fluoride is increasing as time goes on as well. So ultimately, toothpaste tablets with fluoride are increasing in terms of their availability. Are they better than regular toothpaste? Well, ultimately this is personal opinion. They do the same job at the end of the day. They're better for the environment, they might at the moment not be quite so good for your wallet because you're gonna be paying a little bit more for them, but you're not throwing a toothpaste tube into landfill because it can't easily be recycled. Um, you have the convenience that comes with toothpaste tablets, so that's uh, a big thing for a lot of people. It takes less weight and space up if you travel regularly. So it's really, depends on your personal opinion and how important it is to you. I mean, you're gonna see the benefits and drawbacks differently to maybe I am. But ultimately, I do think they are better than regular toothpaste. And in many years, I think they will become a more standard thing that we see on shop shelves and recommended as an option when it comes to brushing your teeth uh, from dental professionals. So how do you use them? Well, quite simple, really. You generally take one tablet, pop it in your mouth, chew it for a couple of seconds. The powder mixes with the saliva in your mouth and creates a liquid cum paste that you can brush your teeth with pop your toothbrush in and brush as you would normally. At the end of the clean, you spit out the excess like you would a regular toothpaste and you're done. So where do you buy toothpaste tablets? Well, the availability of toothpaste tablets does depend a little bit on where you live. But if you live in major countries, um, you can generally get them relatively easy. So if you're in the UK, Europe, USA, you can pick them up without too much hassle. Um, in the US, one of the biggest emerging brands is Bite. Uh, the California-based company have got a lot of PR for their toothpaste tablets, and they're certainly going down the zero waste route. You've got Lush Cosmetics, that are a well-known brand in the UK, US, 
uh, and in Central Europe, they have their own. Theirs tend to be fluoride free, as are Bites. Perhaps the best option is uh, Dent Tabs. They're sold by many different retailers across the world. They offer a fluoride free and a fluoride included option. They sell them through the likes of Amazon. There's a lot of third party sellers. Um, you can buy them in bulk and from sort of zero waste retailers as well as buying them direct from Dent Tabs where they come in plastic containers, generally pretty large tubs of them. Um, there's also many other emerging brands as well. You know, shop around for them, do a search, head over to electricteeth.co.uk or .com, check the link in the description below where we've got more information and we'll continually update all the brands uh, that are offering toothpaste tablets for you. So I hope this video explained what toothpaste tablets are. You're now more informed about it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, click subscribe. And if you have any comments, questions, queries, you want to share your experiences with toothpaste tablet, leave those in the comments below and I look forward to seeing the conversation from you. Until next time, thanks for watching.